y amigas welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel my name is jackie and welcome so hey guys as you guys read in the title today i am planning my gender reveal the only thing is that i already know the gender so i'm gonna be the one to plan it no one else knows if baby is a baby girl or a baby boy and so it's gonna be so much fun surprising my kids and i want to take you guys along for the ride guys i am super excited because i have never had a gender reveal well this is my fourth pregnancy but i've never ever had a gender reveal and being that i'm thinking that this is my last baby um hopefully <laughs> i'm thinking that i'm gonna go try to do everything that mommies do while they're waiting for their little bundle of joy and then if you guys like this video make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe but first i want to tell you guys the theme of this gender reveal and that is a pumpkin i thought it was so cute to think of like little pumpkins and the pumpkins on the way so i based my little gender reveal off of pumpkins it is so cute i already bought some stuff on amazon i stayed up last night i ordered a bunch more things and i hope i get them today or tomorrow but i want to show you guys what i'm thinking as i go because i always get all these cool ideas and then sometimes i forget to film them or sometimes i forget to share them with you guys and i know there's a lot of mommies out there that are trying to come up with an idea for a gender reveal so hopefully if you're watching this video you can get some ideas from me if you're an expecting mommy or you are planning a gender reveal for somebody else you can get some ideas and it doesn't have to be the same theme and also by the time that you guys watch this video the gender reveal would have happened probably a little while ago because i take my time to edit and i take my time to post my videos so hopefully i'm giving you guys better quality from when i first started vlogging from this video on you guys are probably going to be getting a lot more pregnancy experiences story time what's in my bag um preparing for the hospital all those kinds of things but yeah as you guys can tell i am just super excited and i'm just happy to be sharing this with you guys my son does wrestle all day tomorrow which is saturday so i'm going to be super busy trying to get this little gender reveal together i'm gonna show you guys what i bought and what i'm gonna do I have real pumpkins left over from Halloween. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going, instead of buying pumpkins, I'm going to paint those and I'm going to use baby blue and pink spray bottles. And I'm going to show you guys that I'm just going to use those pumpkins to decorate in the front. And also maybe later when we actually do the gender reveal, I'm going to move the pumpkins to the backyard because that's where we'll do the gender reveal. That's going to be my first project. And then um, I'll walk you guys through everything else that I'm doing as I'm doing it. Instead of sitting here telling you guys everything and then showing you guys everything again, I feel like it makes the video even more longer. But yeah, guys, look, my stomach is definitely growing. I have a way bigger baby bump now. I am so excited. I can't believe how big I'm getting. It is so cute, my baby. I'm almost six months, guys, and I have kept this baby gender a secret for that long. I already have this little table with a little bit of like fall decor, and it's a pumpkin from Target. So yeah, guys, here are my pumpkins. I'm not gonna use this one because this is definitely too Halloweeny, but I'm going to use this pumpkin. We're going to bring it inside. And then I'm going to grab this little pumpkin and those two other pumpkins. These are the spray paints that I bought. I bought these at Walmart. And I also have this other little project, but I'll show you guys in a little bit. So here are my pumpkins, nice and ready to go. I'm going to have someone spray paint them for me because I don't want to be smelling all the fumes. And I'll show you guys how they turn out. Right, so we're all done with the pumpkins. They're super cute, too pink, too blue. And now for the next project, painting these beautiful candle holders. I bought these at a yard sale and I have never used them. So I'm going to use them as my little centerpieces. This is how they turned out. So while we wait for our pumpkins to dry, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do next. I'm going to work on my backdrop. I'm actually going to have two backdrops for this gender reveal, one inside the house and one outside the house. I'm going to show you guys the backdrop right now. So 
this is how it looks. He or she, what will our little pumpkin be? Getting a little late because my son wrestles tomorrow. He wrestles most of the day. Hopefully the tournament doesn't end late and I have more time to decorate because I really didn't do much other than the pumpkins and the backdrop. I'm going to start working on a little gift basket that I'm going to do and maybe some little prizes because I do want to have a couple games for the gender reveal. Before I start the basket, let me run through you guys really quick the stuff that I bought. I actually found this stuff today. I bought this cute little pumpkin garland. I got this one at Marshall's and I got it on clearance for $7.50. I also picked up some blue ones. Guys, this is super cute. It was on clearance, so I got these for a good deal. I also have these super cool um, little beauty sleep sets and it's a mask in a pillowcase and i also have a pink one i also found this super cute candle it's also a pumpkin theme it is the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and this one's from bath and body works i actually found and this on clearance uh, goes completely with my theme the little pumpkin it has blue on it it has pink on it and then the nude it is so perfect and this one is says white pumpkin this is also from Bath and Body Works. And then little fuzzy slippers, awesome masks, like face masks. Some other super, super comfy socks, guys. These are the most comfortable socks I have felt in such a long time. I might just keep these because I think I'm going to need these for myself. But um, I also have them like this in pink. I found these at Walmart. Some more face masks. Some fresh foaming cleanser from Neutrogena. And then I also have the little face scrub. I also bought this cute little basket. And I think that's where I'm going to place the items. It was $5 at Target. And then I bought some baby blue tissue paper to put on the bottom. Also bought these cute little cards. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. And I think for these, I'm just going to put a gift card in here. Super cute. One pink and one blue. Yeah, I'm going to get to it, work on this basket real quick, and then I'll show you guys how it turned out. I forgot to show you guys this little Coach Travel Size Perfumes. It comes with three different ones, and I thought that would be a cute little addition to the basket so i am gonna add that one as well and now i'm also gonna add some of these little pumpkins from the garden i'm just gonna cut them and i'm gonna throw them in the basket and i'm also gonna add in some pink pumpkins i also bought this clear wrapping paper at target so this is how it looks before i wrap it inside and it matches my themes. So here's my first little basket. And now I'm gonna wrap my candles. Hey guys, so it is Saturday and I'm currently getting ready because I need to go watch my son wrestle. But first, before I leave, I'm gonna set up a table here inside my house. Here's the table. I'm gonna hurry because I wanna catch my son's matches, but I also wanna show you guys really quick the table covers that I bought. This is a sky blue table cover, super cute. I'm gonna put it on the table and see how it fits. It looks so pretty. I will continue to decorate when I get back home.
from the Vallarta store. Why? Oh, for tomorrow, for the gender deal. <laughs> Are you recording me? Yes. Repeat after me, okay? Grass. 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 What is the color of our grass? Green. Oh, you fell for it! You know what You need to copy what I say. So you need to say, what is the color of our grass? <laughs> you just got tricked! So yeah guys, I left the tournament right now. It's already dark outside. I came to Vallarta to get some sodas and waters and cups and the rest of the stuff that I need for the get together. And so I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna get um, the rest of the decorations up and hope that we're ready for tomorrow. And here's Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, what do you think? How are my decorations coming along? Everything looks so cute. Uh, did you show them the backdrop yet? Yeah. yeah. It's just so pretty. It's like one of my favorite backdrops that... Team I... girl or team boy? Um, team girl. <laughs> did you so we you? also ordered the tamales and Vallarta has the best tamales. Well, not really because I ordered the tamales from another lady, but I like the corn elote tamales from here. Wait, corn and elote are the same thing. The elote tamales from here, and hopefully they taste really good. And I also got some cupcakes. I am back home. I went to the tournament. I watched my son wrestle, and it did take most of the day. And I went to the store. I showed you guys earlier. I was ordering some beans, some rice, some tamales, and I also purchased some cupcakes. I'll show you guys that tomorrow when I pick it up. But right now. When I left, I showed you guys how I covered up that table and I am so happy because my Amazon stuff is all here. Everything I order, everything I need for tomorrow is here. The only thing is it's already like 7 p.m. and I am still working on decorating, but it should be fast. I want to show you guys really quick the rest of the stuff I got. I'm going to set it up and then I'll show you guys. So these are my Amazon boxes and right here, guys, I have another table cover because I'm going to do two tables um, with baby blue. And then I, I also ordered these bows and they're a pack of 25 and they are in baby pink and I'm going to put these on the chairs. I also got some pink pumpkins. These are adorable and I'm also going to place these on the table. <laughs> So I just finished decorating my tables, very simple, very cute. And I'm just putting like a table like this. It is facing the wall, but I'm just trying to make room because I'm doing it in my house. So I did add some little pumpkins everywhere along the house. I have this cute little pink pumpkin here. I added uh, some pumpkins. Remember the garland that I showed you guys? I used them to decorate my little gift baskets. And I also put some little pumpkins in here and then this is how the tables look. And then just some chairs along right here. 
and my little centerpiece i think it came out so cute and i'm gonna light up those candles right before everyone gets here and that one so that's just a little sitting area and then I think I'm leaving the backdrop here. I still haven't got to. I'm just gonna use this cute little plastic table cover. And then this little boy or girl little box, I'm gonna put it on that little table and it says gender reveal voting box. I got this one on Amazon. <laughs> down below if you're liking this so far it's getting super late but guys i'm almost done i'm gonna show you guys a few things i'm gonna decorate a little table for a few desserts so i'm going i know it's kind of weird guys because i have everything a little bit spread out yeah it's just so that we are now outdoors because it's gonna be super cold tomorrow at the time that i'm having the gender reveal so but i set up this little table right here and let me show you guys what i'm gonna put on it so i'm gonna add this little cupcake holder i bought it a long long time ago at home goods and then right here i'm gonna add these little plates that says it's a girl and then on this side i'm gonna add these little plates to say it's a boy and of course i also got the napkins that say oh baby and i got these plates and napkins on amazon and i have some blue ones i'm gonna put on this side so cute and I also still do have some of them little pumpkins from the garland. I'm going to take off a few more and I'm going to add some on that table. And then I'm just going to spread the rest around the house just to tie everything in together. So this is, this is how the little table looks before I put the cupcakes and the other goodies. We will be having some tamales, different kinds of tamales. So I'm going to set them up all right here. I'll show you guys the food later when I get it. But this is what I put on here so far. Um, this is uh, one of the candles, like the ones that I'm giving as a gift, as a prize for my little game. I did put some soap right here, hand soap. And it is pumpkin spice. And I did add two little pumpkins so that it ties in with the theme little things here and there guys just to make it cute and then i'm going to set up this little area that way tomorrow when i get the food i just set it all up <laughs> okay guys i finished setting up my trays and this is where the food will go I also bought these little cupcake toppers uh, and they say little pumpkin, but I'll show you guys that tomorrow when I pick up the cupcake. So right now I have my mess over on this table, but I do want it to fit in with the theme. So I'm just going to add something very simple. This is a cake topper, but since I'm not having a full cake, I'm just going to use it right here. And there you go. Now, if anybody wants to sit on this table, it's still decorated a little bit with some of that mint candy that I put in the entrance as well. I'm going to show you guys really quick the rest of the little pieces of decor that I have left. After I put them together, I'll go ahead and show you guys where I placed them. So these guys are little balloons. And they are a baby boy and a baby girl. Super cute. I might place these by the backdrop just so that they could be used as props so maybe when they take a picture they can choose to take a picture with the boy or they can choose to take a picture with the girl depending on what they think baby is and then i also bought these boxes which i'm gonna put balloons inside of and it says baby um but i'll show you guys this when i put it together as well i have my pump right here that i'm gonna do that with I do have another baby right here, but this one does just sit on its bottom. And I feel like this could be either a girl or a boy, although it kind of looks more like this little guy. Huh, it might be the same one. So I guess I do have an extra baby. Might not even use this one at all. I'm not sure yet. And then I do have a bingo game. And this ended up being a baby shower 
bingo but i think i'm still gonna use it because i don't know what i'm gonna do for games yet I'm gonna walk you guys back over here this is where i ended up putting my little gifts that i made i do have the pumpkin candle we have the little basket then i have a neutrogena face wash beauty um little basket there and then i do have a surprise gift in there and a surprise gift in there and i have the pumpkin little gift right there i still do need to go buy the gift cards guys i can't forget tomorrow when i go to the store and then also i wanted to show you guys look at this cute little don julio um bottle it the bottle is a little bit on the baby blue side so i don't have prizes for a male in case the male is the one that guesses the gender right i ended up finding this avallarta super cool find and perfect i'm gonna place it in this little bag and then i'll show you guys how that looks so for now i'm thinking of doing these um scratchers and i have more i, I don't know what these are i forgot already but i have a baby boys and i have baby girls the reason why I got these guys is because on one side it said boy or girl. Um, so I thought it was more like a gender reveal bingo. But then I just noticed that it says baby shower um, bingo. So I guess it's boy or girl baby shower bingo. But it'll work. I don't think anybody's going to mind um, playing it. Although it's a baby shower game. So that's one of my games. We'll see what else I come up with. Okay guys, so it is almost 11 at night and I'm pretty much done decorating, setting everything out. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up the little balloons that I just showed you guys. And also if you guys have noticed, I even changed my tone of voice because obviously everybody's already asleep and I'm downstairs working on stuff, um, but I don't want to wake anybody up. So I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to go ahead and blow up those balloons. And then tomorrow I'll probably just do one more little run through before everybody gets here of how everything turns out. Um, I hope that you guys are liking this video so far and I'm going to make a part two of the actual gender reveal. So if you guys want to find out what I'm having, a boy or a girl, make sure that you guys comment down below and we will all find out in my next video. Good night.